So in order to be able to do that, I will have to take the derivative of this SR respect to A naught. So del SR respect to A naught will be equal to summation 2 times y sub i minus a0 minus a1 x sub i times minus 1 equal to 0. You are simply using the chain rule. So it's 2 times whatever is in the brackets multiplied by the derivative of this expression with respect to a0 it will be just minus 1. And then del SR divided by with respect to a1 uh, summation i is equal to 1 to n. Summation i is equal to 1 to n. So it will be 2 times y sub i minus a0 minus a1 x sub i times the derivative of this particular quantity here, which will be minus, uh, uh, minus x sub i equal to 0. Because what you are doing is that you are finding out what the, uh, what the derivative of this quantity in the bracket is with respect to a1, and that will be just minus x sub i. So we have set up two equations to unknown, so we need to be able to figure it out uh, how we're going to solve these. So let's suppose I call this 1 and we call this to be 2. So 1, what does it give me? It gives me, um, uh, let me just uh, expand this summation, expand this summation separately. I'll get minus 2 summation y sub i, i is equal to 1 to n, uh, plus 2 summation a naught i is equal to 1 to n uh, plus 2 summation a1 x of i equal to 0. That's what I get from the first uh, uh, first uh, equation. Now what do I get from the second equation? Second equation again, uh, I get minus 2 summation i is equal to 1 to n x, time, x i times y sub i because I have y sub i here and x sub i here. So that's why I get that then plus 2 summation a naught x of i plus 2 summation i is equal to 1 to n I'll get a1 times x of i square because I'll have x of i here x of i here and that's what I'll get from there now I can see that uh, 2 is uh, common in here so I can get rid of 2 here I can divide both sides by 2 that's what I'm doing I want to divide both sides by 2 and now since I see that uh, here, this, this is a known quantity here, and this is also a known quantity here. But A0 and A1 uh, are not, so A1 is right here. A0 and A1 are not known. A0 is not known here. A1 is not known there. A0 is not known there. A1 is there. So I'm going to keep those on the left-hand side of my equations. And this I will transfer to the right-hand side of the equations. So what I will get from there will be uh, the first equation will turn out to be I is equal to 1 to n. Uh, a naught. Then the second equation would turn out to be i is equal to 1 to n a1 x of i equal to 0. And the second equation, so that's my first equation, the second, not 0, will be summation of uh, y sub i. The second equation will be summation i is equal to 1 to n uh, a naught x of i plus summation i is equal to 1 to n a1 x of i square equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n x i y sub i. So again now I've got to realize that a0 and a1 are now constants because I have found those by uh, taking the derivative of uh, the sum of the square of residuals with respect to a0 and a1. So I can take those out and you can realize what is this? This is adding a naught n times because you're doing a naught plus a naught plus a naught plus a naught. So you're going to get uh, simply uh, this to be n times a naught. So the first equation again can be written as n times a naught plus I can take the a1 outside. I can take this a1 outside uh, because uh, it's a constant. So I can take a1 outside. So I'm going to write like that. And then summation i is equal to 1 to n. Uh, y sub i. Then again here I can take a naught outside, so I'm going to take a naught outside. I get that. And then again a1 can be taken outside because it's a constant now. i is equal to 1 to n x sub i square. And then summation i is equal to 1 to n x i y sub i. 
So basically, I have two questions, two unknowns now, and I'm going to write them in the matrix form so that it is clear what the coefficient matrix is, what the unknowns are, and what the right-hand side vector is. And also, it will help you to uh, symbolically um, solve these two questions, two unknowns, whether you're going to use Kramer's rule or whether you're going to use any kind of Gaussian elimination uh, symbolically. So all of those things can be done. Or you can just use your high school algebra to solve these two equations uh, to unknowns. In many of the books, um, you will find out that many people drop this summation, uh, lower lim the, these limits of summation from their books. Uh, the reason why they do that is because all the summations are the same so far as the limits are concerned. But I try to keep them because I don't want you to lose focus of that this is, uh, if, if, let's suppose you're looking at this quantity, that this is a summation of the x of i's. All the x of i's are being added together. Uh, that's, uh, that's what that uh, stands for. So I do keep the summations, but if you are looking at a book, um, uh, please don't think that I'm doing something different. I'm just doing something which is more complete, showing you all the limits of the, uh, limits of the summations. So once you solve these two equations, two unknowns, which are written in the matrix form, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a1 is equal to n times summation i is equal to 1 to n x of i, y sub i, where n is simply the number of data points that you have. Summation i is equal to 1 to n x of i, summation i is equal to 1 to n y sub i. And then you're going to divide by n times summation x of i square i is equal to 1 to n minus summation x of i i is equal to 1 to n square. And then A naught will be, uh, you will get uh, it to be uh, summation y sub i, i is equal to 1 to n, divided by n, minus A1 summation i is equal to 1 to n, x of i, divided by n. So once you have found A, A1, you can find A naught by simply by this simple formula here. But what is this? This is nothing but the average value of the y, so you get y bar minus a1, and this is nothing but the average value of the x's, you get x bar. So that's how you'll be able to find a0 and a1 by doing linear, uh, linear regression. Now one of the things which you got to understand where people make a lot of mistakes is this and this. If you look at this expression where you are summing uh, the square of the numbers, square of the x values, and here where you are squaring the summation of the x values. So these two are two different quantities. This is where you have to square each x value first and then add them all up. This one is where you add all the values of x and whatever you get as a summation, then you square it. So that's something to be uh, thought about when you are applying these formulas to develop the linear regression formula of y is equal to a0 plus a1x. And that's the end of uh, this segment.